here on Dust 2 as we get ready for the second map in this series. Number one, Big Clan. Disputed by some, but refuted by none. These guys, they can hit some shots, they can win some games, they can win some maps, but will they stay alive in the series? Hunter with an extremely aggressive stance here alongside of Jax on this catwalk, and that's gonna net them a kill on Aikido. Hunter goes back for more. He wants second. Searson has been served up. Rootin' and tootin', Harry Russell, the muscle. That's what they call me, man. And when I say they, I mean you specifically. Not just like any group of people or like really anyone, actually just me. Okay, well. Yeah, man, we have a very unique working relationship. Yeah. Yeah, in that we're working on our, our relationships. And Tara is down here in the lower tunnels. And he's creeping in. He's got a Glock fade. So you know this guy's got some money lying around. Let's see what he's able to do with it. <laughs> I've got a Glock fade. Well, testament still stands, doesn't ah, it? It doesn't. Oh. <laughs> you put all your money into CS skins? I did. I just figured that was like the biggest or the easiest legal loophole I could do is just like sink every little dollar I had into skins. And I could just sell them all later on. Yeah, there's nothing smart about saying that in public, so now everyone No one can knows. hear us, it's fine. It's yeah, recorded. It's just That's us cool. three. Not only that, man, like, you know, you just pay your rent in like a huntsman knife a week and it all <laughs> kind of balances out, doesn't it? Nah, it's a gut knife. It's, it's a B play, and Amanek's got a gut feeling that this is where oh. it's ending up, but he gets dropped right away. Hey. And, well, rent is due inside of the B site, and look at this, the bailiffs are in, Jackson next are doing everything they can oh, to hold on boy. to their possessions, and boy, oh boy, oh, they're man. doing a good job right now. Oh. The Thompson coming in clutch for for the big cloud, and that there is going to be them locking in a pistol victory, going 1-0 and up, and finally, Hugo, you literally, you just, like, moments ago, I remember it. Seconds. I remember the yeah. words leaving your mouth. You we said the say? big, they didn't win any clutches on Vertigo. Well, already, they've won a clutch here on Dust. And, of course, it's Tapson to take it over the line with a fade of his own as well. Two kills. Uh, you can see the hype on Zantara's as well. That's always a good sign. Big believing in themselves. And a pistol round will certainly get you there as G2 are forced to force. Eags out. But no SMGs to be trifled with. It's rifles with the big side. And Torres is holding towards the top of middle, and Hunter might just give him what he wants. Nexa could line up this flash. But there's no rush, right? This is a great position. You know that if big aren't up in that A site, they might just be holding for it. So you want to delay the flank until appropriate, similar to getting behind that A ramp on Vertigo, catching the T's while they're planting. Or at any point past now, this would be good. Nice grenade. Searson follows up. Second scout headshot. Hunter, he's out, but Tapson's turned around. And Big are going to be able to get this site under control. Yeah, they boost next are up. Ooh. And all right, that's a lineup for him. Okay. This had like, this had no legs to go anywhere excited and suddenly it's a two on three. Now it should still be very, very hard for Nexa or Amanek to have much more of a say. But I was saying that when they were two on five. So, you know, at that point, my input is meaningless. Nexa and his MP9, they've already claimed some lives and they're looking to claim even more. Centaur is holding ramp, Tizian, tucked into Goose. Nexa saw him go there as well. So that shouldn't be a mystery for Amanek who's trying to help him out. From the catwalks and Tarez, I think, just got the info that this player's pushing down. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. Amanek's very, very deep, and there's one for him. The very least, they can make this an, an expensive round for Big. Searson's just holding the long after plant with the scout, so there was never a hope in hell of getting the defuse. But still, like, that was a two on five, turn two on two. So great bit of damage there from Nexa and Amanek. Still a big round, though, as they build early, and this is kind of what we wanted, right? After they got swept at the start of the series and they had to pull a full comeback, even though it was successful. Yeah, you could have wondered what that could have been if they didn't go 11-1 down. Probably a win. But hindsight, Andy over. Uh, big are back on top. 2-0. G2 broke. Flash out on long. They're waiting for Big to take control, but it's actually not been telegraphed. Tizian has crept out behind the blue bins. Keto's peeking. If they flash back in, they are not going to be ready for Tizian here, especially if Keto is making this contact and staying alive. G2, they're waiting till they hear or see something. There's the flash. Finally, Tizian getting dinked, but gets away with a kill. Covered from Keto. Grenade is good. Tizian is low. 
And Big might want to get on out of there, but there's not a lot left for G2 in this round. Try and reposition fast, considering Big are going nowhere quickly themselves. See, Dust is playing like a, like a flat vertigo in terms of the pacing here. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. In the, you know, it's just a lot of like sitting around at first, you wait and see where you get the contacts, especially in rounds like this, you know, where you're not really up against anything that, that should get out of hand too, too quickly. Uh, you do just kind of wait and you see what comes your way before you make your move. And you can see the reward of that for Big. They're in this five on four. What was already a pretty, a very low chance of G2 winning a round is now even lower as a result of this patience. Searson's just catching what? players off over in middle. This guy's scout is pretty devastating. Only hits heads. Yeah, it can't hit anything else though. That can be a benefit yeah. and, uh, and a drawback, because right now these headshots just aren't coming in. And that's where Keto is here to save the day. It's all fine. It's all good. It's all totally under control. 3-0 and for Big. But now Hugo. Well, now that buy round's coming in. You know it is. Searson is kind of good at the game. Okay. Whoa. Controversial statement, Trace. Oh, more paper towels for Santares. He actually uses a he roller should, map. He should look at getting a sponsorship yeah. for his paper like towel bounty? usage. That would be bagged, wouldn't it? Like, Yeah, if you like <laughs> to wipe things up all day, I suppose. Yeah, but like, you know, he is like prolifically someone who always used to have, you know, like a little, I can't even think of like the word for it, just like a piece of fabric Sweat with rag. him. Yeah, like a <laughs> Sweat <rag. laughs> Now that, that's a product we should make, man. That's one that we shouldn't be revealing on stream. Oh, I just sweat rag today. It's all new, and boy, Look. does it soak up moisture better than you've ever seen. For $19.99, we'll throw in this free skin. It's P250 Sand Dune. Nice. All today. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why you use paper towels instead of, like, something you can just wash every now and then. But I yeah, guess like that's the loose issue. leaf paper. Who wants to just spray on e-perspirant into your palms and then play like that, or like talcum powder or something. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. Maybe play with Play-Doh before you go play your match. <laughs> like, all very... Don't want to block up those pores, though. You know, sometimes the body, it needs to sweat. Yeah, the palm pores. Oh, Zantara's got dry hands, steady hands, and he's holding for Hunter, who walks into his hands in the B tunnels. Big have got a mid to B. And G2, they got a save. They already know it. Unless they get a free kill coming their way, there is no chance that G2 can do anything about this. Amanek with the AWP, he spots him, but he won't shot him. And the bomb getting planted on B. <laughs> you okay? You go to, we need to call someone. <laughs> we need to get your handler in here to like come and, come and take good care of you. Okay, Hugo, we'll happening? see you next yeah. time. <laughs> What just happened? Blaunting the bam now. And shorten their way down a range. The accent really just slipped off. What was that? Um, I know. Here has not been a killing stand for since 1982. <laughs> That's a good... Uh, Jay, you seen Hot Fuzz? Man. Get an answer? I'm it? actually disappointed if you haven't. I have. It's just been a really long time. Ah. Oh. I watched Tropic Thunder again not too long ago. I did as well. That's a great film. I don't know if it's entirely comparable to Hot Fuzz, but like, yeah, man, that is oh. another good film. Tizzy and Ian. Oh, oh boy. What? Look at him go. He's bringing some Jax. thunder into this site, but that's where Jack should have it all under control. Tapson's going to burn out Amanek, so never mind. That's the orb. And that was the orb. Gone, removed, taken out of the equation. Big. That's quite a nice round to slip past them. You know, you leave one guy surviving. Well, with one guy surviving, you can't even buy. Like, with two, you can at least drop two rifles into play. And suddenly, you got four guns. And four guns, that's a nice amount of guns. But one gun, no. no. You drop a gun over, you got two. Well, that's better than one, I'll give you that. But it's no four guns, is it? So you can kind of do the math there. I think I've laid out the groundwork required. Got our best detectives on the scene to crunch those numbers, but bigger crunching long again. G2 have given it up with the pistols. Deagle's back on the site for Kenny. Maybe accurate, but this is quite a range. Can't the Deagle dink from goose to pit, you know? Like, not, not kill you? Pretty sure there's a fall off there somewhere. And it doesn't get longer than long. As Searson's about to find out. Longing to find kills on this site. Kenny won't give him much. The run boost across with the orb gets spotted. Jax re-aggresses on Catwalk as well with Nexa behind him. 
trying to take real estate away from Big. And and at this point, they should be fairly confident that Big are all 5A, if not at least 4. And so G2 can set up for what should just be them trying to deny the bomb plant, judging by their weapons and positions. Forget retakes, there's no kit. There's not a lot of util left either. They've got some grenades to maybe throw in from the spawn side. Get on that plant. Resmoke coming down. Hunter close. Sisson's going to hold and try and cover as his flashes come through. There's a nice try. Tizzy and Dinked, but no kill. Amanek going to drop a nade, but Big aren't rushing the cross. They've got 30 seconds still to play with. Jess getting wallbanged out into the open with the Molotov and remove the rifle gone to a Gandalf. Next in the open gets sprayed. And the second one is Kenny caught. Oh, they haven't checked him though. He's got a spam with a deagle. Tizzy now ducked below the boxes, can get that bomb plant in, and Kenny is alone in a sea of T's. He's hitting shots, but he won't be able to stay alive. And Big will find five. Exactly kind of what we expected from Big, starting strong in this map, or what we hoped for, rather. The only question is, does G2 have the answers? Oh, this time big, they steer clear of long early on. It's an interesting little wall of smokes that is down there. Jax has crossed behind it into pit, but we don't have to worry about long. We can forget about Jax for now. We need to be looking at a man go by the name of Kenny S. And here he is over on the catwalk. That nade could do some good damage and Tabs and bears the brunt of it, but not really as much as I was hoping for. Cat control now taken, but Kenny holding this angle. This could be a freebie. Oh dear, Tabson just died down the middle and dropped the bomb and his parting gift to Big. Was retrieved at least. Kenny still holding this angle. It's a pretty tricky shot to hit, and so he gets out of there after he takes the first bullet. And Big, they're not really left with much in this round now, right? They have Cat, but that's it. Like That's where their list of map control begins and ends, is Catwalk. And that's going to commit them into this A site with 40 seconds left. Now, to get into A, you've not only got to run the gauntlet past Kenny Zorp, but even once you get in, you've still got Nexa hiding at Goose in the back of the site. And that could be a bit of a nasty surprise. This CT player that is rapping is gonna oh, no. maybe catch Kenny, but the flash is leaving blind. Searson is there to help out, but they still don't know about Nexa. They swing together, they clear him, they deal with it. And Jax, remember him down in the pit earlier, who I said that we can forget about? Well, now he's here trying to put some dominance down into the A site. Searson's taking a peek, looking to deal with him. No clear winner there just yet, but it should be Searson. And instead, he's going to deal with Hunter. Amanek falls, and now Jax, he's gotten out of the pit while all this chaos was happening. He's just looking to try and hold on to this gun. Yeah, Searson makes that round happen. I don't know how that happens, though. Like, Big actually team flashed that CT player who is pushing close to kill Kenny on the ramp, and then Searson just steals that kill away when that CT player, I think it might have been Keto, was blind. Big. Yeah, the kills just fall down around them. Nexa uh, in a position where he can hopefully get a double with Xantaris peeks him on top of the rail. Uh, the rail. And only a trade, only a single kill. G2 not able to put up a hold on the A-bomb side. They knew what was coming. They knew when it was coming. Wow, what a shot. I was wondering how Sisson hit that. He sees a bit of a peek of Kenny's head, and then he just deletes him through the wall. That's a frustrating one to lose to. No chance in the round. Big fans, probably proud. I'm pretty sure that was Bmas there in the face jersey on the fan cams. Shout out Bmas one time. Celebrity appearance. Yeah, maybe Bmas to phase, new move. Leaked. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You know, just uh, <laughs> let that one simmer. Cheers. Appreciate that. Always watching out for me. Yeah. Well, the joke is, guys, if you didn't know, Beamus is in phase. That's oh, the joke there. Yeah, you get yeah. it now? <laughs> wow. That's, man. Wow, crazy. <laughs> I hope this desk has taught you one thing, and that is that no one's going to look out for you apart from you. And here's Keo moving in <laughs> towards the crossroads. He's looking out for number one right now.
as he's moved up alone, but in doing so, it's allowed the rest of the gang to get this bomb down in the sight. Searson here with the orb, but he's putting on a bit of a show, but only a bit of a show. He needs, oh, there we go. That's it, the full feature, and he's in with two. Now looking for a bit more. Now fast wrapping long is Hunter, but he's quickly the wow. only man left. Searson, my goodness, it's his curtain cool as he puts up four. Seven on the board for big now. Are we going to have the full reverse Vertigo yes, experience? Absolutely. It feels yes, like it. 11 to 1 for Searson. Funnily enough, that was the scoreline that G2 got to in the previous map. And, well, look how that went for them. Yeah, and I was just thinking, you know, you're talking about looking out for number one. Well, I'm number three, and I still look out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get that tattoo yeah, dude, you're the on my forehead. That's for sure, Trace. Yeah, pretty much. Right down the line next to you guys. Man, you're just the third best guy on this desk, honestly. It's like the third best That's exactly dude. exactly what I just said. Oh, really? Good one, oh, dude. Well, we're so in sync, Hugo, yeah. man. That was good. You know, this not, bumped me, man. Two seconds behind. Uh, yeah, yeah, that thing, but I'm just yeah. lagging. I'm just high ping, man. High ping. <laughs> okay, well, you guys have lost your minds. Well, we'll see if Harry can continue to high ping up this game. Oh, there was something in there. That was actually almost really yeah, good. It was so nearly there. It, yeah. yeah, you really did drop the ball there. Continue hyping up this game. 7-0 for Big. I'm the only one doing the talking here. If that like. is not true. That is nah, borderline. Yeah, go back and watch the work. Work. All right, man. All right. Searson here. He's got the AWP. And look at this. G2, they've got a bunch of guys over at Long. And you want to know why they got them there? Well, because it's where Big have been coming from every now and again. Oh. I hope that can explain it, Trace, as uh, yeah, man. Cat's been taken. And while this is happening, Zantaris is making noise in the upper tunnels. Now, that keeps two players over at B, because you can't hear, hear those noises and then just rotate players off. Now you're worried that maybe it could be a B play. Ooh. It is going to culminate over here towards short. And Jax is able to get one before getting traded. Now, the smoke comes back down at Cat. And for Big, that's a big old problem, because suddenly this play that they wanted to make in towards A has been slowed down by the presence of this smoke screen. So what are they going to do? Two options. You either completely change it up on the back of one smoke, or you just wait. And with a minute left, waiting is a very tempting offer to Big. That's what they're going to do. As they group back up here. No more utility for G2 to put a stop to this. So they've got to do it on aim and aim alone. Kenny, back at ramp, doesn't have the best relationship with this position, but he's going to pluck Centares out of the air. Another Whoa. man tries to go down into CT, and another corpse falls from the catwalk. Kenny, looking to deliver. They are starting to aggress towards him. That molly just burns Kenny out. And so Searson has opened up this site, but in through short behind him, two players now arrive. Tizian, this is not a nice spot to be in, but thankfully there's no one in CT. And so he'll be just fine for now, but here comes the peaks and it does all fall to Searson again, this time in a 1v3. There's a guy moving up long. Keep your eye on Nexa, who looks to drive the knife in the back of Searson and indeed he will. Finally, G2. Gonna put their first round on the board at seven to one. Ska theory remains true. This is exactly what happened in the last map. Seven to one. Y'all gonna get it again. And again and again and repeatedly until you enjoy it. I'm already enjoying it. We're seeing some great orping right now. Searson's absolutely dominating. Kenny lighting up with two on the A site as well before he gets mollied out. Trice is still unable to do so. Well, we've got some capture software going on there. It's got the crown on the top left. So if Big get the next four rounds straight, we just bread and butter repeated vertigo. We just cancel the rest of the map and we go straight to a third. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, that's that's not quite what I'm saying, but that might be that might be the outcome. No, don't think it will be. And he gets smoke dropped in this round. Searson has been styling right now, and he has been besting him head-to-head -head quite a lot, but struggling to do so in the first. Oh, boy. Amanek, quick Wolf. dink, follows up onto Searson. Now that cat play is gone, and Big might fall back into a mid to be. They look tempted. The smoke coming through. This is a great round. G2 have been playing 2B most of these uh, CT rounds, but now they stack triple long off of spawn, and it's only Hunter there. I say only Hunter. That's a man with a plan, He's and pushed. they aim to back it up. And Amanek's even pushing, as you say. They're ready for it. They're aware, but there's still a mid lurk in Zantara's. Oh, and there he is, springing his deadly trap. Hunter, what are you going to do, bud? 1v3, essentially, in the B site. While he does have Jax wrapping around from behind, Hunter had to buy time, and buy time he can't. And now, you know, you've waited for this long wrap from Jax to come in. 
Gonna give it a look in, and he does bring it back into a two on three. Now, this could tempt G2, but with the smoke falling and Amanek still not giving any space down here in middle, I think this will just have to be a save, and this will be an eighth on the board for big. They show us a bit of diversity in this round here and now. So they come in with one of their first B hits yet. I think, what, since the pistol? Jax might find some players leaving. Hello. He might. No, oh. Tizian reads it well, goes back. And it's just like I always say, big clan, they had it in the bag right from the beginning. We knew that they were the strongest in the server. <laughs> and now this is just kind of a testament to that. You know, 8-1 up, it kind of speaks for itself, Hugo. It does, Trace, but we're going to speak anyway over it. As, Do we uh, have you on a soundboard for today or something? Like, you're just capable <laughs> of like, using the same like four yeah. phrases. Well, you know, it's just kind of like I always say. <laughs> Well, like I always said, you know, big at it from the start. Yeah, dude, 8-1. One. That 11 one's looking likely right now, but G2 putting a stop to it with a cat boost up. Away from long. Solo B again, Amanek this time. Big just defaulting to start, flashing Keto out low mid to see if there's anyone on cat. He hasn't seen them yet, but they are here springing a trap with the AWP and three. They know the big of pretty much every round taking catwalk, and so G2 want to win that battle out there early. Make big uncomfortable. And it's not like big have taken long early, but it looks like they'll be flashing back out late. Jax has gone to fill the hole that is the, the long doors. He only has a flash to do it, though. So this fight should be good for big, but they're taking their sweet time. Molly up on shorts. Trap players forward as they push aggressive. Hunter trades. Smoke down. Now it's Jax's turn. They jump into him. The bomb spot in dropped as well. The orb does get attacked. Jax should be dead, but he takes a dink with him. That's more than you can ask for. As now three on three, bigger walking into the trap. But Zantara's again on his lurks has been so good. Yeah, he's drawing a lot of attention away, and this has allowed Big to close the distance. Over here at long, Kenny got a gap in this smoke. You don't give Kenny gaps. Oh, oh the Tizian yeah. USP'd out of the round. Now this bomb's still kicking, still a threat. But now, left into Searson, was a 1v3 when this Pagani goes oh. looking for the kill, and he's in with it. Just Amanek left to find, who's wrapping long. Searson, the time, and he's there! And he's in with three. Another round on the board for Big, as Searson makes these clutches look oh so easy. Man, I've got to get his zoom sensitivity. i got to go over to CSGO Hub. i got to get it all, because it's probably all there if I had to guess. But Searson, really slick look here from him here on Dust, too, and then... For Kenny, it seems like it's it's kind of slowed down. It's kind of cooled off. Yeah, we've had a couple of rounds for Kenny, but he's just mainly just been getting beefed out by Searson in those opening duels, like shots through smoke. He's been getting mollied out on ramp. Even when Kenny had that double, he got deleted right after. And that's a hard round to lose for G2. You had everything. Uh, Hunter plays that so well, stalling on the site, not fighting long and waiting for Zantaris to come through the smoke. When he eventually does, Hunter kills him, gets traded on the site, but it's still a round for big Searson. What a tank. Hunter has purchased a weapon here, Hugo, that I need you to weigh in on when What's we eventually weapon? see it. You tell I'm not going to tell you, you but we said, you we, said, we said that Big, they were making some unconventional oh, choices. Okay, okay. Now, Hunter, <laughs> he's come in with the big old Nova. I actually like the Nova. I know you know this. I know, I know, I know, like, I know that yeah, you know, I know yeah, that you I do. I know that, yeah, exactly. It's actually all right. It's not that bad. It's cheap. It it's has... got the Hugo Byron seal of approval. Yeah, what more it, do you need? As long as you Nova miss, then you don't have a problem. Exactly. <laughs> what a word. I think Valve missed a the trick there by not just making a gold shotgun skin for the Nova that everyone would want, and then you just call it the gold Nova, and then that's like... There you go. Kind of writes itself, right? Hey. So Valve have that one for free, but have to message me back or at least follow me. So, <laughs> see us out here through the long doors. And on the car, there's a man by the name of Jax. He's looking to kick this up a gear. What's he able to do? Swing him with the D. And now dying with the D. Jax is impacting the round, not going to ring on out. All he's done is open this up with a man advantage. Hunter, never, never even going to get a chance to show us what that Nova can do. Okay, Kenny. I'll be a little aggressive of a peek. He takes the big hitter, Searson, out of the round, and that's something that G2 needed. They resituate themselves. Like sitting on your underwear sideways. Bomb's gonna get planted from Tapson. 
Into the post plant we go. Tapson's gonna get smelled out in the sight. It's gonna be Nexa looking right at him. He's not alone. Kenny's gonna be swinging off Cat as well. And Keto is able to do something here out of nothing. Big shotgun comes alive and killing his teammate. So that's not bad. Not ideal. There we go. It's more Quake-esque shotgun movement there from Hunter. He's gonna peek this guy a goose. It's just Keto, oh, and the shotgun wins the round, whether you like it or not. He Nova missed. And we that like was, it. That was a 3K with the Nova. You love it. But one onto a teammate. Yeah, and that's the most impressive part. That's like something straight out of MM. Like the Nova first kills a guy on your team and then goes on to win the round. And look oh, at that yeah. down the barrel, man. I feel like I'm back in my Medal of Honor days. And I just <laughs> Oh, man. How could we ever forget those? The good old days. The good old days, man. They really were. Like, let me tell you, that game. Oh, if you haven't played Pacific Assault. I'd recommend it. Bit late. Not as good as Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Allied Assault was very good as well. I'll give you that. It was the better. Oh, I think we got Kenny's biggest fan on the line, actually. I didn't see it. He had oh, a cat he, jam in the he top He just had left. a sign that said above him, Kenny's biggest fan. Ah, so. Well, claim to fame. What a round for Hunter, dude. What a round. The Nova gets it done. The meme by... I support it, always, and I want to see more of that. But G2, no need for a Nova when they've got the big guns. They are on a full buy, big sneaking through the mid smoke. Oh no, looking up is Jackson. The tower gets removed from the top and the bottom at the same time. No one lives to tell the tale. No one even knows what the tale is. G2 trying to fight back in mid. Hunter's been flashed forward, and they've just turned around. Oh dear, the knife in the back. He's got two. Not going to be able to finish off Keto. Puts him down low with the spam and gets out alive. They're going to go B anyway. G2 have read this wrong. They've moved away. Hunter might need to scarp him back through the smoke and he's done it, but oh no, they've read it right after all. Big don't even know what they're doing. They could have had the B site, but they opt against it. And if anything, this overcomplication has left them losing all control. There's still a man up though, but the damage has been done. Low HP on Keto and two more tagged players. They could have hit B when Amanek was in mid, but they weren't to know. Now they go back to long. Kenny focused on Catwalk right now. He needs to turn around. He needs to put up a fight. This is his chance, but he doesn't realize. There's the shot, but not connecting. Flash off the boxes to set his teammate out. Hunter does get one. He's trying to go back for more, and that fight will put Big up in the lead. Three on one. G2 definitely just throwing bodies at the problem. Did not need to do that. Yeah, that was a bit of a blunder. That's Amanek alone off of B. His nade could have killed Keto, but he's so back far at long. And there's no AWP in mid. They're looking because they killed Searson, but Keto picked it up. That's a, that's a great round for Big. It looked like it could have all fallen apart with them leaving the B site but maybe scared that Hunter would regress and that there'd be two there for G2. So you can see the logic there for Big, even if the timing looked to get them back. But yeah, G2 knew they didn't have a lot of utility, so they just felt the need to take fights and, and Hunter going through the smoke, he gets one, he could have backed up, but he, he continues to go wider and take more kills. Kenny repeaks as well, very, very aggressively. And like, that's the kind of round that if one of them gets one kill, it all starts falling apart for big because then you have two aggressive CTs fighting even less Ts coming up long, but G2 have nothing. They lose both fights. This tower gets wrecked in mid and despite Hunter's best efforts, it's going to be big to pick up 10. Fast out through long. It's Keto throwing into this corner again, but no repeak for G2 as they give up this side of the map early. Nick, they're looking to take advantage of this. It's looking like Amanek wants to aggress the tunnels, and he's going to do exactly that. Once he gets this info, G2 can start to preemptively rotate players around towards this A site. So this is a really nice bit of information to have if you are G2, which not many of us are. There's only five of them. Yeah, and potentially more. Think about, you know, the long crossing here. Oh, yeah, they've decided to wrap all the way through T-Spawn, but that's a bit of a problem. Like These rotates are going to take a very long time, and you were relying on your players in the site buying you some time. They haven't. And it's horrible to say, but if a kill doesn't come in, this might have to be a save. Tapson just looking away, oh, giving no. him a warning shot. Doesn't he, isn't able to get the better of them, but Searson is inside of the bomb site. So yeah, this will just be a save for G2. 
And yeah, you can see Big already know they're already spreading out. Santaris is looking for these kills. They got given the site for free. Only one kill needed to take down Exa and open up A. Big, they don't realize. Oh, Santaris just dodged death. Hunter, he might get dealt it as he is stuck at the top of middle. And Santaris is hunting him down. Nice stuff from Hunter. Exits for G2, but rounds for Big. And that's all that really matters at the end of the day. 11 to 2. Now, in order to keep up the uh, the script writing, G2 have got to win back-to-back -back rounds now and make this one close. Never say never, my friend. Yeah, I definitely won't because they got the money, they got the save, they succeed in that at the very least. I think that kid was doing the YMCA. You guys know what the YMCA is, or am I a boomer? Ah, oh, man, I know what yeah. I know what the YMCA okay, is. All right, it's like a really fun place to stay. Go on, break into the song. I was, I almost did. It's really hard not to when you're saying the lyrics, but... You've really let us all down. So we'll just cat jam instead. That's a nice Molotov right there. It's going to force Hominic out of position. And what could be the undoing of B, should Zontera is able to uh, lasso him himself some kills. I'll lasso myself some words. Mid to be smoke. Jax flashed on Cat. He's going to be able to peek up a little bit. But Searson waiting with that op. He's definitely not the one to tangle with in this game. He's a little overwhelmed. When he peeks, they're all there. Nexa is there to respond and give some sort of dignity to his name. But all in all, 3v3 and they're steaming up long. Yeah, Nexa's gone back to try and say something on this matter. There's a big old say there's a gap. Oh, there's no. just one smoke missing, but they still get everyone by that needed to cross. Searson looking into uh, CT, legs Kenny. And it's save territory again for G2. Playing for the last of the half. It's all you, you can really do at this point. Amonex looking for a kill, hoping Big will give it away. But look at these post plants. Big are just so safe, so passive right now and aren't giving these fights back the way of G2. Amonex is going to try and force them with the Molotov. G2 are going for this. They're throwing everything they can into the site, but they will lose everything as well. 12 to 2. Big, absolutely storming through Dust2. Great yes. stuff. Yeah, this is kind of what we all expected when we got this game started, because, you know, I mean, it was just obvious. Big were going to come into Dust2, they were going to have a proper approach and answer, and then, you know, for G2, it's almost like fashionable at this point to yeah. go up, to win a map, and then lose the two following or three following. It does help that Big's comeback was pulled on the T side, and that's when they begin in the second map as well, right? Like, they had all those successful T rounds, even if the map did fall apart. And then they go into a T side of Dust 2, like one of the best maps for the good T sides, and Big's best map as well. So, yeah, this is, this is just great from Big. The utility has been perfect. Great flashes on the site, catching uh, A players every single time. G2 have been struggling to get multi-kills. I can't think of the last time I saw any. Now, they've all been pretty good trades, at the very least, or at the very most, I should say, actually. Yeah, and I'm going to read off some opening jewel stats for Big as well. Searson 3-0, Zantara's 3-0, Tizian 3-0. Like, that's crazy. So, really goes to show how many of these rounds Big are starting with man advantages. Only three opening jewels for G2 in this entire map. It's not really ideal, but... I mean... Your CT side, you're not winning your opening duels. What could go wrong? This. Oh dear, they haven't yeah. even tried many mid to be. Here they go. Next is caught one aggressive on catwalk and now they know. Yeah, he's trying to come in fast on the flank. Oh, he is ready for Tizzy and bested right away. Keto trying to hold down middle and does actually get bested in the head to head. Leaves a two on two open to G2. They go in fast, and into Tapson they run. It leaves it all on to Kenny. And while Tapson's pulling the attention away, Zantares is on a long flank in through middle. Miss shot from Kenny, seals his fate. And Big, they reach 13 at the end of the first half. Incredibly dominant here from Big. Can they keep it going and lock in that nuke third map decider? It certainly looks like it. Do G2 have anything up their sleeve? Gonna have to find out in just a moment.
weapon, that's why I'm a dominate. Taking advantage of every second, now I ain't got time to waste. They all trying to sign my name, they want me to sign my name. Count me a blessing while I count that in my winnings. We take fifties and hundreds and throw them up to the ceiling. Everything I envision, now everybody gon' witness. Only difference between us is I ain't stop till I finish. Yeah. Your best, my average, there's a reason for that's a fact So they snapping back, mad at the fact that I don't have a backup plan I ain't need that, I'm working everybody when I relax So I ain't tripping about none of y'all feedback Air that, wonder when I'm gonna peek at And that's why you count your blessing while I count that in my winnings We take fifties and hundreds and throw them up to the ceiling Everything I envision, now everybody gon' witness Only difference between us is I ain't stop till I finish, yeah. So here's the story of this best of three. On one side, you got B. On the other side, you got G2. The first map, pretty miraculous there for G2 to have pulled off the very, very, very end of the road. And now we're looking at pretty much the complete opposite, the inverse operation if you're one of those math characters out there. No, I'm not talking about numbers. I'm talking about the real deal holy field that is Big Clan sweeping this first half of play. I'm here with Harry Hugo. I'm ready to jump back into it. Kenny, yes. More like Kenny, no. Not really having all the answers, but it's not over for G2. There's real world where they run it all the way back. And Hugo, I know you're itching at the trigger finger to tell us about it. Yeah, you'd have to be a fool to think that an 11-4, a 13-2, a 12-3, these numbers don't mean anything, Trace. You these know, numbers don't mean a thing. It's just the age, you know, it's just a number. Well, yeah. Not really. Sure. And jail's just a room. But right now, the big house is full of big players with a big scoreline and a lead that hails in comparison to G2's after their first half of Vertigo. 13-2 on the T side for big. Just, I just really think that we're going to have a lot of serious and highlights in our Mountain Dew Game Fuel post-match and Mountain Dew Game Fuel power play. That would be a safe bet. He has been lighting up his server. 19-6 and six right now. He's, this is it, though. G2, you want to play thus too, or you want to go straight to nuke? These are your options, and it all relies on this one opening round, getting out long for free. Hunter holding T-spawn. I like this. He's waiting for B aggression. If they come through T-spawn, rarely do they check this, but safe rotations for big right now. Sitting on the site, tapping back, but he's already been dinked down by the Glocks. Oh, they're running right at him. Nice grenade. Flashes on long for big. Tizzy is so blind, but so are his opponents. Kenny jumping in the air desperately. Nexer and Jax with the only kills, but Jax, oh dear. That's the next rather getting hit by the nade. He's down to 16. Jack's on three on the site. The bomb been dropped and it's under big control. And now the round gets really weird. Hunter's got to come in from holding T spawn oh. and okay. All right. Well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hunter, what can he do? Arriving now late at cap. 
desperately trying to get this round back under control and big they see him coming up through catwalk and they just challenge the one long player knowing that he is a lone hunter now with a 1v3 to try and tango with Tapson's hidden at the car as well. I don't think Hunter's going to be ready for that. I really don't. Like, why on earth would Big have pushed out to the car, put a man there? There's the Ooh. peak. That is a great little flick from Hunter to find that frag. But can he get any more? He needs another double. And there's oh, one oh, now baby. down. And oh, Hunter, oh. so damn clean. All right. Okay. G2, three on the board. The pistol locked in. And this is where they look to try and run it back. This is where they try and do to Big what yeah. Big did to them on their map pick earlier on now there was a lot of days and thems and here's and there's hugo what am i trying to say i don't know harry i, I really struggle but yeah <laughs> that, that was a very weird pissed around i hope we get a replay of the taps and jump shot as well he won tap jacks at the back of the site but uh maybe in the future because right now it's big running the board but they've lost the pistol is this going to cause commotion is this going to cause a comeback it's exactly what we saw in the previous map. T-side start for G2 now. They've got the weapons, but so do Big. Buying a scout on Searson. We know what this gun can do, but he shoots between two. There's the head on the second time around. Searson wants to put them in the ground, and he's found Hunter. Quite the scalp. Back up catwalk, another player. Searson, oh yeah, the tag slows him down, and Jax finds Antares through the door, keeping this one under control for G2. It may have been an opening pick for Big. They've had many in this match, but immediately responded, and G2 get up cat to A. And in they come, Tabson does have a man nearby over at Long to try and help. Done a bit of damage with the P2 and it's Tizzy and deep down the next, but what more can he do? The answer, nothing. And this leaves it on Keto. Does have a nade and that could be used for a nice bit of free damage, but nothing comes free. When you're up against G2, they take that peak immediately on the back of that nade coming out and they find a fourth. Now no money for big, so likely a fifth round looming here for G2. Oh, look at that from Tabson. Cheeky, cheeky man. Thank you for, for getting in that replay so quickly as well. It's not going to change much, though, as that was still a round for G2. Back to back. And maybe back again, because big only have Zeus's and nades. Everyone's favorite game mode, Keto, get ready. Oh, Zeus's and nades. Bit late. Oh boy. This one's as uh, done as they get. I do love the pace that G2 have in this T side. Obviously, we're early days on anti ecos, but Big had some very slow rounds in their uh, pocket in the first half. Great rounds, don't get me wrong, but uh, G2 clearly fearless right now. They know they've got nothing to lose and everything to gain at this kind of scoreline. It's been done to them. Why not do it right back? Big looking to take us to nuke G2. They still want to hang on. And they're doing exactly that. Three MAC-10s into the first gun round. You don't have a lot of room for error, so this is a big risk. But the reward is that Big don't have any head armor. And so these MAC-10s will rip through these Ts, or CTs rather. B executes smokes getting lined up, but the bomb's going catwalk. Oh, selling a bit of a fake with the MAC-10s. Adonik running in. They've got the B site. It's just Keto here, and he's a shot away from death. The flashes are keeping Amanek back, but he will eventually respond. The grenade should just do the job. And all the while, Bigger rotating into a bomb site that doesn't need to be saved. It's actually A, as now Bigger realized, wait, it's gone quiet. And this is why. Oh dear, Tizzy, and here's that bomb going down, and he knows that that's bad news. This is an awkward round for Big. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, they might not even want to attempt it. And by the looks of those two guys going back into the B site, either they're still very confused or they don't. And it will just be the save here, holding on to the AWP and these two rifles. That's six on the board for G2. What is this game? It's that only one side can actually be played. <laughs> Who knows? Because statistically, or, or at least historically, that's been a very CT map. But obviously, Dust 2, Vertigo, these are the two most T-sided in the pool right now. So comes uh, to be expected at this point. Bit of an eco around the save guns. G2 are hitting B with four. No waiting around in this one. Just patiently behind that first smoke. Keto has nothing to stop them. 
Oh, Eagle trying, but failing as next set. Failing his way out of that round in through the air. Kenny beats Searson. And of course, Amanek is already in the back line with his SMG causing chaos. Tabson tagged. And this is another save for Big. Seven on the board for G2. As they launch this comeback, they're trying to show us that they've got what it takes by just not pumping the brakes whatsoever. They've kept the pace. They've kept it all in the face of Big. And they go into that round there with three MAC-10s in play. You know, it was always their destiny to go fast. It is the climb back. Slow and steady grind by G2 here. Seven on the board now as it ticks over. It's just so scary up against 13. Sorry, Trace, I thought no, you... No, I mean, it is, it, it, and I, I agree completely. It's like the Hulk, right, as he's getting mad. He's like, nah, maybe... Maybe not. Baker and Green above the second. Hunter's playing the MAC-10 this time, not Amanek. It's not a spawn thing or anything. Just heading towards B. Or picking mid for Kenny. Okay, this is this is the true test, right? The big buy for Big. Searson on the orb, he was smacking on that T side. Clutches out the wazoo. What can he do on the defense now? Sat on long as we speak. Jack's getting dinged through the wall, taps him. Holding on to middle. Nice little grenade, but it might be a bit early. They're not deep up the cat yet. So it will tag Jax. As you two get control of the catwalk. Nades into B do nothing. Run boost for Hunter. Oh dear. <laughs> run, boost run boost to nowhere. The ejector seat. <laughs> the ejector button, even. Speaking of which, Sirius is going to have to toe the line here on the B, or the A site, rather. And I should tell you about the B stream and how they are done already. Evil Genius is 2 0 Gen G. Um, and what was a pretty close game. Not nearly as close as this. Oh, the elbow. Betrays us all. Hits him right in the funny bone. Searson's not laughing after that one, though, as G2 go fast into A. And Jax. Yeah, man, you'll know Amanek. Tries to run in with the MAC-10. Amanek's like, let me show you how. Oh, hang on. Never mind. He's dead as well. Tabson dropped by Kenny. And now into a three on three. Next to his oh, no. out of car, but wasn't able to get the kill locked in. And now it gets a little bit oh, awkward. Dear. Tizian is the car master and it leaves it on Kenny in a situation where he's got an ace clutch. Tries to land a fancy flick and Keto is able to best him in the head to head. Defuse comes in and big. They narrowly get that one over the line. 14 on the board. They owe so much of that round there to Tizian. Like really in every way, shape and form. Deals with the long flank. Puts up another on the man in the site. You just got that bomb down. And thanks to him, there's 14 here now for Big. Yeah, that's going to be a, a painful round to relive for Nexa as well, right? He He's behind Tizian. He starts spraying. The shots don't do more than 50 damage. And at that point, it sprays wild and Tizian just gets him right back. Oh, dear. Great work for Tizian. And Kenny he gives it as always. Finds three in the round, but three is not a round as Big get one step closer to Nuke. 14. G2 are believing, man. They had five in a row in this second half. Nice tag on the cross. Santoros gets shot. Jack's out long with the flashes. See some backing up. That's about right. G2 find themselves out long. A little bit of a contest here towards B, and they're playing too deep for big. But again, on 14, every move so crucial, so pivotal. Searson has been instrumental even for Big in this game. For him to go out this early in this round would be a damn shame. Also kind of lame. And now let's get back to the game. Balls. Straight. Fire. Mind fire. Well, fire on the car gets put out with the fading smoke. So Searson's still here. Thanks is going to walk into it. Uh-oh. Oh, dear indeed. Uh -oh. More for Searson, maybe. Oh, he's shot. He's getting flashed in by his team. He's got one more. Trying to find an angle. He doesn't want to back up into the orb. It's still stuck in the pit. Amanek puts him in one. And back to a four on four. As G2 look to A. 
Yeah, Hunter is waiting to try and cut down these rotations. Goes out middle, gets the better of Zantares. Now that mid to E smoke comes in, and this is where chaos is caused for big. They start to rotate players in, thinking it's going to be a mid to B. And now they deal with Hunter. They realize it's still this A commitment from G2 inside of the site. Tizian's got to go above Ooh. it all, and he can't. Amanek, three in the round, and now that bomb getting planted by him as well. He's done it all, leaving it on Keto on the big side in this 1v2. With Kenny holding this cross, it's a really tough round for Keto to attempt. And there it is, certain death. Kenny S brings it. Eight on the board for the G2 side. Now, so far, this second half of play has mirrored Vertigo exactly in the exact same way that our first nine rounds had kind of creepy, in right? the first half. Yeah. It is kind of creepy. I wonder if when they were writing the whole script for this one, they just reused the same template both yeah, times. It was the same I think that's what it is, right? I noticed a lot of similarities, too, and it's pretty creepy there, but I was like, surely it's just because it's Thursday or it's Friday, the September the 11th, or, you know, Saturday, September 12th, something like that. Like, surely there's a reason that I'm seeing all these anomalies in one place. Well, Jack's going to be seeing a deagle to the face from Tizian. Could this be 15 for big? Oh, dear. This was a partial investment Ooh. from big. And Hunter gets the first kill for G2, but they were already at a two-man deficit. So big is sat in this four on three. Now, I'll tell you how Vertigo went. <laughs> if this was going to follow the same trend, big would win this round. So that's the ultimate test, right? Because they didn't really have anything coming into this round. Not really. They partially bought. They had Deegs and armor, a couple of scouts in play, and it served them well thus far. But creeping out into mid, RG2. Next, they're going to come in and join up with them late. Do have smokes for the cross, and so they're going to go out now to get into this B site. Two players here to try and stand above it all. It's Keto, and it's Centares. Missed shot from Keto to open, and now... Oh, okay! All right, Keto. How on earth has he managed that? They line up for him. The stars have aligned, and now Amanek left in a 1v2. Up against the scout and an AK that Tabs has been able to get his hands on. Amanek saw him there, takes Ooh. the peek, and now he's looking to offer up something sick of his own. It's down to a 1v1. Tabson out through the tunnels. Amanek looking so many angles to bear in mind. He goes above oh, and delivers. Wow. Amanek closes it out in the clutch. Keto with the scout collateral. What a crazy round. What a wild round. But ultimately, Amanek is the savior of G2. What a well-played clutch despite that incredible once-in-a-lifetime shot for Keto, it's not going to matter. Quick flick for a one-on-two in the site, and then the fake party reads Searson in mid, and off of the back of that kill, immediately realizes Tabson has to be tunnel, plays the smoke to perfection. That is a masterful clutch for Amanek. I mean, in total, that was like a 1v4, right? Like, yeah. with his two teammates dying immediately. That's insane. That is actually nuts that Amanek is able... To, to regain composure, to deal with both. Like, there were two players in the site when he did that. Doesn't even seem fair. Oh, my. Full oh, sin. what Good a trade. Hunter. Yeah, he needed that. G2 needed that. Yeah, they're just hanging on to this game by, the, by a thread right now. Big are still at 14. They have been for a, a bit now. Three in a row, or two in a row, rather, for G2 off the back of that. But they started this half of five. This is a 13-2, remember. Push through long Tizian. He realizes that it might be an A play at this point, so he'll go back and join his team for the retake. That smoke cuts off long from Tabson and Tizian. Zantara's backing out into middle, retrieving grenades. Kits available for big on this retake. Do they want to give it a go? It's certainly worth a shot. There's nothing left up for G2 but the guns and the men to make them work. Crawling up through the spawn of big. Amanek. Him and Jax are first contact here, but it's a CT and a long peak combined. The flash goes high. Jax turns back around. They line up for him, but Amanek helps him out with two of his own. It's Tizian alone and falling back to long. They might not let him live. Next, it gets domed, and Tizian keeps spraying, but Amanek, third kill in the round. This guy is coming alive, and it might be in G2 could take this map away. Surely not.
Surely not, boys. We're getting close. Honestly, I'm done with trying to predict how, yeah. on, <laughs> how on earth these games are going to go. Because that's the thing. It's just been a battle of T-sides, and it's it's weird to watch, but it's given us some very entertaining moments. Oh, for sure. Maybe we'll get another one right here for Kenny. No, maybe next time. Ooh. Come on, do it now, Kenny. Do it to him. Searson trying to duel the Kenny Ooh, S. Got legged. That's pretty ballsy. It and he burned. Got that scout. Does live to tell the tale at least, but it's a pretty grim tale that he's spinning. No one wants to listen. He's already pretty low on HP in this round as a result of getting tagged through the door. G2. They're looking to pull a comeback that would be even more one-sided than the big squad it tried to do on them back at Vertigo. I got the at and on the wrong way around in that sentence, but it happens to the best of us. And the rest of us as well, as I just demonstrated right there. Jax <laughs> moving up through short. He's got Hunter behind him. Kenny holding on to middle, but he does have that bomb. So right now, Kenny S is precious cargo. He decides that's too much responsibility for him, and he likes to play fast and loose. So he gives that bomb over to a responsible guy like Hunter, who surely is going to make responsible choices in this round. Here comes the push. Jax. First man in, first to the scene of the crime. And boy, oh boy, he's not looking at... Oh. Oh. Yeah, Tabson was flashed out by his teammates. Well, that really didn't help. Now Jax, oh, there are the entries. Oh. He felt wronged, he felt robbed by the Molotov, so he finds two of his own. And Amanek tip-tapping back in middle. They're gonna go and get the gun. Nexa wants to deny it. There's a player in lower, he's avoided that well, though. The spray again for oh Nexa is his God. undoing, as it was in uh, the car, as hello? Tizian took him down, now big. <laughs> They're looking around. They're wondering, is this a round for us? Santaris has already given it up, but keto has got a gun and he can bail with it. Nexa, he's usually very, very capable individually, having some some rough times. Honestly, like you look at the two people that took those fights onto Santaris and Keto in middle, and it was it was Amanek and Nexa dueling. Well, Amanek has had like an incredible game right now, and Nexa's usually the guy like top of, top of the board or near the top of the board for G2, as weird as that sounds with him being in the IGL role, but it's true. Yeah. And both of them have opportunities where the enemy really don't have any chance and they both just miss. That is a wild way to have that go from four players to uh, surviving down to two in a matter of seconds. But at this point, G2 aren't even worrying about it. They're building and they are building fast, 11 rounds and all the money they need to continue buying, even if they were to sustain a loss big, they've sustained a lot of losses. Does G2 still have the mojo in them to keep this one going? Five from a win, big only two away. Even locking in OT would be a sigh of relief right now for Big, and they could forget about the economy for the time being. But they're not there yet. This could still be stolen right from underneath them. Flash out mid. Molly clears close. Hunter crosses Xbox, and they can get up Cat again. And Hugo, just, you know, just to kind of put some context in this, you know, a little bit bigger of a broader picture. Yeah. 14 to 11. So you're telling me <laughs> that G2... G2 Esports yeah. have come back so far. And they can still win the series in two maps. Very potentially possible, Trace. That sounds like a halfway answer. Uh, nothing like something made very potentially possible. <laughs> Here's Jax, very potentially dropped out of the round, down into CT, taps and putting up a kill, and finally big. They've got a man advantage. Now, what can they do with it? Tabson does get traded by Hunter. And now, wrapping in through long is Tizian. Oh, this boy. entire round has gotten a little bit chaotic, but Nexa goes back for oh, it. Doesn't land a Nexa. single bullet, and Tizian gets the better of him. Man advantage maintained for big. As they look to put 15 on the board, finally reach map point, but can they do it? Searson holding down the short side, sees an arm, and now he's looking to take a leg. Down into CT, Amanek has dropped. There's no smoke to cover him, so he's just running the gauntlet, but Kenny's put up the first. Searson spots Amanek in CT, but they're getting closer and closer. Searson bested by Hunter, and we're into a two-on-two -two to decide whether or not big reach map point, or if G2 keep the comeback rolling in. Kenny and Hunter back to back in the site. This is quite the strike force to go up against. And Kenny Ooh, taking a peek in a CT. He loves these fast shots. Jump up. Did they find see the player, though? I think he saw them both now. I think he knows. Kenny looking down, ready for the peak. Oh, the no. shot misses. Bigger getting closer. Kenny back in with another. And now it falls onto him in the 1v1. Keto looking for the kill. But Kenny's not giving it over. Kenny's playing hide and Ooh. seek. And there's Keto with it.
there's just enough time for the defuse and big they're gonna get 15. oh my goodness ah oh, what do you even say kenny he's just going for it man he's just diving in for fights Tech nine out in the one-on-one, -on -one, not able to close. He swings a few seconds too early. And again, Nexa, he lost his fight at the top of mid. He could have had this round in the bag for G2 when Tizian gets aggressive. But that's like the third spray that we've seen he's missed. And boy, oh boy, Hunter and Kenny, they try and bail G2 out of it. But big have hit 15, big have locked in a guarantee of OT, if not more. And they might find us onto Nuke if they can get one single round. Will it all come tumbling down? Searson with a shot. Amanek jumps into the pit, but he doesn't make it out alive. The spam through the smoke from Hunter. He wants to keep this game going. He wants the bonus round because that's all G2 are grasping onto right now. They didn't see the cross. Tabson has made it to Car, and he has got Hunter as well. He's now trapped to this position. Kenny's in the pit. Tabson yet to know that. He's still taking other fights, but Kenny's going to need him out of the round. Zantaras has pushed B on a T-spawn flank, and G2 are trapped at long. Yeah, they need Kenny to get something here with his AWP. The longer they sit here, Zonteras just starts to apply pressure, and they become aware, though, from the back lines. It's Jackson Nexa to watch the, the six, if you will, while Kenny tries to do what he can do. Still a minute left on the clock, so plenty of time to play with here, but the chokehold only gets a little tighter. Yeah, G2 are trapped here, right? And they're not to know that because of this flank from Zintares. They can't go anywhere else. And that's given all the info over to Big. But it is a double-edged sword, right? You're in a three-on-three. Three. You're not like in a five-on-three where you can have this guy at long guaranteeing this... Uh, this push into the A site. Because while now you have the information to have both players here in A, it is still a three on two at the A bomb site. And that does favor G2. So Centaurus is to be very, very good with when he applies pressure. And so he just waits to the 22nd mark, knowing that G2 have to commit to A. And eventually that push has to come in. And now they look to try and run the gauntlet. Damage done by Tizian and Keto. Now Centaurus arrives and Jax falls as well. Big, they take us to a third map. They they lock in Nuke, where this will be 